Hey y'all, I'm Talisa Ray and this is Truthful Thursdays. Let's just jump right into it. Head in first. Dive in. Men, heterosexual men, absolutely love women. They love every single thing about us. I mean, they love our scent. They love the way we feel. They love our hair. They love the sound of our melodic voices. They love our whispers. They love our eyes. They love to, to walk, uh, to watch us walk. They like to see the sachet and the curvatures of our body. They love women. They love us tall, short, fat, thin, slim, slim, thick, thick, round, oval, square, pear, orange, green, black, yellow, purple. Baby, they love us as women, rightfully so. God created us to be adored and loved and protected. They love us, they love us, they love us. You know, and when you when you become available, when you're available, you know, you're not in a committed relationship, you're available and you're throwing off those pheromones that say, I'm available, come say hi, I'm available, blink, 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 I'm available, koi, 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 smile, I'm available. They notice. What they notice is not your intellect. They do not notice the soulfulness of you, your spiritual being, being. No, what they notice is that you are fine as fuck. What they notice, shit, you see her ass? That's what they notice. I mean, I'm not gonna be mad at you because you're a visual creature, Mr. Man. You are a visual creature. You are attracted to what you see and what you like. It is not until you have a conversation or a few conversations with us that you realize that we have an ab abundance, an array, a variety of things that we have to offer. And even still, once you realize that that is who we are and you say, let me hold on to her, you forget. You forget. And because we're so happy to be adored and wanted that we forget to clarify what your, what your true intention is. Some of y'all are not ready to be in relationships. Not even that you're ready, okay? Because you don't want to be in a relationship. Some of y'all will never, ever, 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 ever be in a relationship. And that's by choice. It's not that you have to be that way. That's what you prefer because you love women. Baby, ain't nothing wrong with it. Love us, love us, love us. But remember, you are to protect us too. So that means protect us from you. Give us the opportunity. I heard Steve Harvey once say something to the effect of women, when you meet a man, understand that he has someone. He's not necessarily in a committed relationship. He could be exiting a committed relationship or a relationship. He can, uh, he may have a meantime chick, but he is not alone. And I can't say for all men, I'm just speaking in general, so don't get in your feelings because I might not be talking about you. But if I am, you are. Go ahead and do a little chuckle because you know it's the truth, right? So you meet us, these amazing women, these wonderful women that have all these qualities that you were looking for, that you hope for. You know, you might be missing one or two here because, you know, nobody's perfect but you. You still thought me. Anyway, that <laughs> cracked me up. Uh, do us a favor. I know it's hard to be honest, but do us a favor anyway and try your best to be as honest as you can because in the beginning, you don't have anything to lose. You don't know me. I don't know you. All I am to you is a conquest and all, of, all you are to me is somebody that I want to meet and get to know because I was attracted to you. You were charismatic, whatever. I'm speaking when I say me, I'm speaking to women in general, not me personally. But I want you to consider that now you, if you don't clarify and what it is or what you your intent is in, in, in the beginning, you run the risk of ruining a wonderful woman. You say, hey, it's not my fault. She shouldn't have been all into me. We are emotional creatures. You didn't got what you wanted, that goodness and mercy. That box was hot. She gave it to you. And now she looking like, well, that's my boo. Y'all ain't clarified that? That's in her mind because we gave you goodness and connection and all oh, the intimacy. We gave that to you. So you you mind. That's really how most women think. So you didn't you didn't you didn't fuck this up. 
Because now we done found out you got us looking stupid. You got us looking stupid. So you didn't met me. You know I'm wonderful. But not only are you talking to me, but you didn't talk to the girl that you just met at the grocery store. You hanging out at the GS. You didn't met two girls over there. You online talking to every single body. You in inboxes and DMs left and right. You got us looking stupid. And now we didn't found out. And guess what? We have now officially become the bitter bitch that you always talking about is rolling her neck and talking smack and We've officially become her. You fucked us up. And then you wonder why, now that you're over all that gallivanting around, eh, eh, now that you're over it, you wonder why this, the new girl you messing with can't get over being hurt 10, 10 relationships ago. I want you to take a look at yourself. She, 10 relationships ago, you. Look at yourself, 10, 10 relationships ago. Who she talking to, her issue is you, 10 relationships ago. Hello, somebody. She is looking at the old you. Now you didn't you didn't evolve, but she can't appreciate that because the old you is who she met and it ruined her, metaphorically. So at, as I'm saying, since it's truthful Thursdays, let's just go ahead and be honest and say I'm seeing other people. You seeing other people, I'm seeing other people. When we become mutually exclusive, we won't see any other people. That's not hard. That's admirable. I am Talisa Ray, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have something to say, baby, say it. If you can't say it, my voice is your voice. Hit it in the comments. Put it in the DM. Put it in my inbox. Send me an email. Uh, I am willing to be your voice. Click subscribe on YouTube at Talisa Ray. Dragon lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragon.